Hello everyone, this is Will with HODL HODL Exchange, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up two-factor authentication. And this is an important security measure that would require you to have access to your smartphone in order to log into your account. So it would also require anybody who attempted to log into your account to have access to your smartphone or the manual codes that you have written down, which we'll demonstrate here in a minute. So it's a great security measure to protect you. I like to say safety first, and we hope for the best, which is that our account never gets targeted by hackers, but we prepare for the worst. They don't have access to my physical smartphone, so they won't be able to get into my account, which is great. In order to begin, please go to the App Store on your smartphone and download a Google Authenticator app. Should be the top result. And you will see this screen once you open up the app. After you click Begin Setup, this is one of the first screens we see. However, for now, let's go ahead and turn our attention back to the HODL HODL Exchange. And let's go ahead and log in to HODL HODL, which I already am. Then go to Edit Profile here from the top right in the top center here, two-factor authentication. Current password. This is my HODL HODL account password, testnet in this case. Great, so now let's click that scan barcode, tap it on our phone, and then scan this. However, before we actually enter in the six-digit number that just appeared on my smartphone, I'm going to go ahead and write down, physically write down these manual backup codes to log into your account. So if you were to physically lose your smartphone, you would still be able to access your account through these, which you should write down or store them on another computer, a computer you are not accessing the site from. However, as you can see here, only because I'm recording a video, I did store them on the same computer. In conclusion, it's important to understand your phone is your primary method of logging in, but if you were to lose that, then you have these codes as well. So just store these very securely is the important moral or takeaway here. Now let's go to my phone and I can see a new code that appears because it does change periodically. So we want to enter the latest code for HODL HODL Exchange Testnet, which it says on my phone. Great. Two-factor authentication for my account has been enabled. Wonderful. So we're good to go. That's all there is to it. I will go ahead and log out here just to test this, of course. Signed out successfully. Now let's go ahead and log in. 2FA. So I come to my app on my phone. Let's see what number it has for me. It just changed colors to red, meaning it's about to expire. But I entered in right before it did. Now it's already showing a new code because it's constantly changing for security purposes. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and follow us on Twitter at HODL HODL and you can contact us through our Telegram chat. We communicate through that channel and have a great day.